this review, we have the brand new Magic Keyboard for the iPad Pro. So let's go ahead with unboxing and see what this keyboard has to offer. In my opinion, this is a much needed iPad accessory to live up to Apple's iPad Pro marketing if it being a replacement laptop. I'm excited to check out the floating mechanism as I didn't like this limitation with the smart folio and keyboard. I can already feel there is a little bit of weight to this Magic Keyboard, especially if you're comparing it to the smart folio keyboard but the Magic Keyboard has a ton more features, so I guess this is expected. One side of the protective case is completely plain, and on the other side is the Apple logo. There are cutouts for the square camera module now too. It also has an integrated USB-C port for pass-through charging, so what you can do is connect your charger to the keyboard rather than the iPad Pro itself. This will allow you to wirelessly charge the iPad Pro through the cover and it's going to free up the iPad Pro USB-C port so you can plug in other accessories. After Apple announced the launch of the Magic Keyboard, I was concerned my iPad Pro 3rd generation may not be supported. I'm really pleased that the Magic Keyboard is compatible. The iPad Pro snaps into place really easily using the built-in magnets. The Magic Keyboard connects straight away, you don't have to do anything. The Magic Keyboard is full size, so you're not really compromising any keys, and best of all it's using the scissor mechanism that we've seen on some of the recent MacBooks. It gives around 1mm of travel and in my opinion makes a big difference. The trackpad is a very welcome addition and contributes well to the mouse support in iPad OS 13. You can adjust the angle of the iPad Pro by tilting the Magic Keyboard backwards or forwards. It feels very sturdy and must have very strong magnets to hold the iPad in place. I love the floating design and the keyboard feels great as does the trackpad. I think it's really going to change the way I use my iPad Pro for the better. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did then please do give it a thumbs up. Thanks very much for watching.